guys, I'm Willow B, a YouTuber and online safety campaigner, and you're watching the Live My Digital video series. Today's topic is relationships and grooming. Now, I spend most of my time on social media connecting with people, sometimes with people I know, and sometimes people that I don't know. I've got friends from school and uni who I haven't seen in years, but we all keep in touch through social media. This video has been created to give you information about how the people we connect with online don't always have the best intentions, as well as advice on how to avoid the dangers. So I know that growing and maintaining relationships online can be a pretty powerful thing, but as an online safety campaigner, you won't be surprised to know that one of my favorite TV shows is MTV's Catfish, where they catch people trying to scam others through fake online profiles. I'm always shocked to discover the lengths people go to to trick people into thinking they're someone that they're not online just to build friendships or romantic relationships with people. Many of you will probably have received friend or follower requests from people you don't know or messages from people you don't know directly but could be a friend of a friend. It happens a lot, right? Sometimes these conversations can lead to grooming, which happens when someone tries to build a relationship with you for sexual abuse or exploitation. It's not always obvious that this is their intention. You'll hear lots of stories about people building friendships with people through things like multiplayer gaming or even relationships with people through dating apps like Tinder. For some, this doesn't cause any problems, but for others, there are serious consequences and you need to have strong digital awareness to navigate through all of this safely. For example, the conversation may start off quite lighthearted and fun and you start to trust that person, but in a grooming situation, the conversation will eventually turn into something more personal. When things get really serious, often your school, social services, even the police may need to get involved to help keep you safe. Here's what a group of students I spoke to had to say on the matter. Sometimes like people put twists on their names they change numbers and letters around and, and then they add something on the end. But like sometimes you don't know because they might put a completely different name on. Online, there's, you can't like see them you, because they could be saying they're like 10 years old but you never know, they could be like a normal, like an adult. You should always like, like check who they are and if you think they're your friend, you should check with them. Because grooming can end up to be quite serious, there are certain things I'd advise you definitely do the moment you feel, hold on, something isn't quite right. It sounds obvious, but don't ever meet up with someone who you've only met online, in real life, on your own. Even if they don't want to meet up with you, even if they just want you to send inappropriate pictures of yourself, don't ever feel like you have to. Once you start doing these things, it usually gets harder and harder to stop. Get your security settings locked down. You should really have all of your accounts set to private where possible so that any old person can't spy on you and see what you're doing, who you're talking to, etc. If you're gonna have open profiles, be very careful about the sorts of information you're sharing. For example, you definitely wouldn't want strangers to see pictures of you in your school uniform, find out your phone number or know your location from all the places you've checked into. In fact, even if you have a private profile, you shouldn't be sharing this information. Lastly, you must let someone know immediately if something's worrying you. Often with these sorts of cases, the police need to be involved to get you the support that you need. So speak to your teachers or your parents or an adult you trust as quickly as possible. It's the only way. I've just listed lots of the obvious things you should do, many of which hopefully you'll already be aware of. But aside from all of this, use good judgment. Does their language sound a bit odd for a person of your age? Do you have any mutual friends or people that can vouch for them? Or are they talking to you in a way that's a bit unusual and you expect that their account might be fake or have been hacked? Sometimes you'll just know when things aren't quite right. I hope you found this advice useful. Remember how amazing technology is? We all have the right to enjoy using it safely and responsibly. We've got loads of other similar videos you can click on to find out more about how to be safe online. Do check them out. See you next time.